What's up, YouTube? George Lehman here with MuscleMascus.com. Um, you guys have been liking the last videos, apparently, so I'm going to keep making more. Because I really enjoy making them. Um, I really like uh, talking about this kind of stuff. One of the things that I wanted to talk about, one of the things that I find really important that I see plaguing a lot of people's li uh, lives is uh, they get stuck dealing with feelings of hate and revenge for other people that wronged them in the past. Now, I personally have had plenty of people wrong me. I've, I've personally had plenty of people do bad shit to me. And for a long time, um, I would have periodic thoughts of like, oh, you know, well, like, fuck them. Like, I hope, you know, this and that for them or like this kind of thing. And people would always say, you know, the, the, best, the best revenge is just being successful and happy. Uh, and not to worry yourself with that kind of thing. And I'm, I'm here to tell you in my experience, which is not even limited experience, it's, it's pretty decent experience, it's true. Um, for the most part, what people don't want to see is you be successful and happy after they tried to ruin your life or fuck you. Um, they, they want to have been successful in what they did, and they absolutely hate seeing you do well. Um, so whenever, whenever I got to the point where I actually could overcome some of the issues and the feelings that I had and let go of some of the pain that other people have caused me, I was able to start focusing on my own life and bettering myself and recognizing the world more for what it is, which is a very optimistic place if you choose to view it that way. And I was able to let go of 99% of the distaste that I had for some of the things people have done to me. As a matter of fact, I actually now view some of the worst things that people have done to me as some of the greatest blessings because the things that they taught me uh, were absolutely incredible and the person that they built me into is is practically indestructible compared to what I used to be. What I used to be was, was very easily hurt, very easily manipulated comparatively so. Um, it takes a great deal of pain to learn how to deal and cope with a great deal of pain and the more you deal with it, the stronger of a person you end up being unless of course you allow it to hurt you forever by never letting it go, by hanging on to it and by hating other people and wanting bad for them. Because the only thing that you're doing when you hate other people and want bad shit for them, you're just experiencing the pain that they caused you. And then you're, you're trying to outwardly project it in the world into a, in a completely useless way because you're the only person experiencing it. It's not even like you're causing other people pain. And if you're, if you're unfortunate enough to actually have gone out and tried to cause other people pain, you realize how, how anxious and full of regret that that makes you feel. You actually don't feel good about doing something wrong. Now there's, there's righteous revenge and then there's wrong revenge. There's, I want to hurt that person so that they hurt. No, that's not what you want to do because that's actually going to come back and fuck with you as well. And guess what? The evil pieces of shit that tried to fuck with you in the first place are just going to be reminded of you and it's going to bring you back into their line of sight and they're probably going to try and do more bad shit to you in the first place. So instead of, instead of letting that person know that they've still got you and they're still bothering you, quite literally just focus on yourself. Quite literally just, you shouldn't even have time to focus on fucking losers that, that are focusing on you and trying to hurt you. You, sh you should be so busy trying to build up yourself in your own life that you don't even have time to sit around and go, they got me and I hate them because they're not worth your fucking time, to be honest with you. If, if you're spending all your time trying to do right by yourself, how do you have time to even remember the negative feelings? You start to forget the negative feelings altogether, but the only thing you, you retain from it is the life lessons. And once you can get to the point where you actually feel bad for those people that tried to hurt you, because you recognize that shit people have shit results. Karma is real. Um, a friend of mine was the head of a Buddhist church, and he went and saw um, a monk that was like 100 years old, way, way up in some fucking mountain somewhere. And what that monk told him was, karma isn't magic. Karma is, is fucking common law. Car karma is common sense. If you stick around doing bad shit to people, if you're a bad person, you're going to get it back. Bad shit's going to happen to you because you put yourself in bad situations all the time. And the kind of people that go around wronging you, the kind of people that go around hurting other people, often end up getting it back. You don't want to be that type of person. You want to progress, uh, project positivity and happiness in your life and the lives of others so that you can get it back. Not dwell on the negativity that other people cause you and let it continue to hurt you and continue to make you a bitter person that's focusing on bad shit instead of good shit. 
as always, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Remember to uh, check out MuscleMasochist.com for approved products, apparel, stuff like that. And stay tuned for more videos like this one and probably some training videos as soon as I get someone to hold my camera. Peace.